section is once your hip precautions have been cleared from your surgeon. So you're free to move however you so please. Now, once you have mastered the range of motion and the initial strengthening, now we're gonna add resistance and make some of these exercises a little bit tougher. So for the first one, we're going to use a hip circle band that looks like this. It's got moderate resistance. The, there's gonna be a link in the ones that I recommend in the show notes below. So we're gonna use a hip band. It's a lot easier if you sit down and put these on and it's a lot easier if you put it on your other leg first. You're gonna put it so it is right about at your ankles, about a couple inches above, and you're gonna stand up. Now, the white sock again is the surgical side. So you might need to hang on for this one because it's not meant to be a balance exercise. You're gonna anchor yourself with your good foot and you're gonna move. First, we're gonna start sideways with your surgical leg. And then you're gonna go backwards. Again, anchor with your good leg and move the surgical side, really focusing on squeezing your glutes. And then you're just gonna kick forward. So you really start to feel these muscles working. Now I want you to do the same thing, but on the other side. So you're gonna anchor yourself with your surgical leg. And now you're gonna move your good leg. Now, when, you're, when you have most of your weight on that surgical side, you really have to use your hip muscles in order to stabilize your leg. So you might even find that you can do less on this side when your surgical leg is the anchor, which that is fine. And you're gonna go same direction, so you're gonna go backwards and then forwards. You wanna start a little bit lighter on the resistance for this one, and then once you feel that you can increase, there's usually three or four resistance levels. So once you feel that you can increase, then choose a heavier band. But I would not choose a heavier one right out of the gate. So I would say anywhere between 10 to 15 repetitions of each direction on each leg. Like I said, if you're anchoring with the surgical leg, it's okay if you can't do as many. So now we're gonna sit back down and take this off. And now you're gonna find a stair. And what you're gonna do is you're actually going to turn and have your foot facing sideways. Now again, we're in control here and you're gonna try to sit back and lower your non-surgical leg down and really use your hips and your glutes to push yourself back up. Lower down, push up, lower down, push up. And then for the last one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a, a chair that's at a moderate level where you can pretty easily stand up and down. Now, you're gonna take your surgical leg and you're gonna put it a little bit further behind you. And you're gonna take your good leg and stick it out a little bit. So you're in a staggered stance. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your feet in those exact same stances and you're gonna push up. Make sure you get all the way straight at the top, no slightly bending over, so squeeze your glutes and then sit back nice and controlled. Obviously to make this harder, you're just not gonna use your hands. So stand up and sit down. Nice and controlled really squeezing your glutes. If you wanna make it harder, just make the surface a little bit lower, but make sure that you can successfully do between five and 10 repetitions. Once 10 repetitions becomes pretty easy, then you can make the surface a little bit lower. The further out your good leg is, the harder it's gonna be on the right leg. So standing up and back down. So if you stick your good leg out, 
as straight as possible and try not to put much weight through it, you're essentially doing a single leg squat. So now what we're going to do is if you sit on the edge of a couch, this one is going to be very difficult if it's a really low couch. So a lot of times your bed is going to work a little bit better. Like this couch is probably too low, but I'm going to show you what you're going to do. You're going to sit close to the edge. Now you're going to kind of walk. So your, your bottom is now off and come down to your elbows. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to squeeze your glutes up and bring your bottom back down. Squeeze your glutes up and bring your bottom back down. Squeeze them up and back down. This is nice and controlled and it's not for speed. So please do not thrust yourself too fast. So keep it nice and controlled and back down. And then when you're done, just reach your shoulders back and kind of push yourself back up. 